Hello friends and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to show you how you can correctly slow down a clip in DaVinci Resolve and I'm going to show you actually a few more tricks on how to make it better. Let me show how it's done. All right, so I am in DaVinci Resolve right now. First of all, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and check uh, what's my playback frame rate in my project. So I'm going to go here where this gear icon is. I'm going to press on it and I'm going to go here and see that my playback frame rate is 23.9 frames per second. Excellent. So we are in the correct uh, timeline uh, frames per second. And let me quickly go and show you where you can see what was the clip shot on. What is the frame rate of the clip? Okay, normally for a slow motion you would go and film it in at least 60 frames per second for a very nice slow-mo. But in my case, if you go to inspect over here, you see close to video on the right uh, top uh, hand corner you're gonna see file. If you press on file, you're gonna see here you'll see the video codec uh, the clip was shot on and the frame rate. Uh, you can see here the frame rate is 23.97. Not great for a slow motion, but you know what? we can make it work. Okay, so for this, let's go and slow down this clip to about 40%. I wouldn't go lower than 40% because it's already a 24 frames per second a timeline, you know, and it's gonna look ugly, but there is a way on how to fix it. Okay, so let me show you how to slow down this clip. So first of all, go and click on the right click of your mouse, go to time controls or just press Command R, all right? And then go here where you're going to see this 100% down arrow and go to change speed and go to 50%. When you do 50%, you'll see that the clips goes longer. Okay, let me have a look and you see it's not bad. You can still see that there is some weird things going on. It's not that bad, but we can make it better. Okay, so I wouldn't go less than 50%. So let me show you actually how we can do it the other way. So if I'm gonna go back and do Command Z, I'm gonna go back to my initial state of the clip. I'm gonna press Command R. And what is the cool thing about the second way to slow down a clip I'm gonna show you now is that you will keep your um, length of the clip. Let me show you how it's done. So go to video over here, press on the video and go to speed change. You see, normally it's going to be like this. You have to go and press on it, speed change. So you see, now we can see that the clip speed is at 100% and the frames per second is 23.97. So if I go now and I do manually here, let's say 50% as before, we see that the clip uh, frames per second is going to be now 11. Let me play it. So see, it's the same process like before, but the clip actually stays the same. The length of the clip stays the same. Imagine you have a hundred clips on your timeline and then you have to change something, then when you will change something that it will affect the whole timeline. This way, you see, the length of the clip stays the same and then you change only what's inside. Pretty cool, isn't it? So now let's go and improve this motion over here. All right, so I'm gonna go here to Retime and Scaling. For this, I'm gonna go to Retime Process. I'm gonna go and change it to, you know, you see you've got Frame Blend, you've got Nearest. Let me quickly show you the Frame Blend, what it does. So the Frame Blend, you see, it just blends the frames in between and it sort of like blends the frames, but it doesn't create new frames. In order to create new frames, you have to go to optical flow. You see straight away, you see it looks much better. But optical flow normally has weird artifacts. You see, can you see here? Just some weird pixels going on. Let me show you again in full screen. Can you see what I'm talking about? So in order to fix this, you have to go to motion estimation and go and press and click on speed warp. You can go and check enhanced better, enhanced faster, but speed warp is, you know, is the best actually, but it's gonna be very, very uh, taxing on your computer. So you see, it's not even playing back smoothly. It doesn't matter what computer you have. I'm using an Apple Silicon M2 Max and it's still sort of like very, very slow. For this, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to playback. Okay, go and click and render cache. I'm gonna go and select smart. Now it's gonna render and then it's gonna play. 
it's gonna take a while normally it takes two three four five minutes uh, depending on how fast is your computer but this actually saved me when I shot a wedding and accidentally I shot it on 23.9 frames per second and then I used this trick to slow it down and to have that nice slow motion and it really worked and since then what I do I set up my camera at 30 frames per second and now I shoot everything in 30 frames per second just in case I forget to film it in 60 frames per second at least I have that leeway you know um, and not embarrass myself in front of the customers in front of my clients so this is what um, this is my advice to you I do like the the motion blur of the 23.9 frames per second but in this world when you have to give the product or the video or the highlight video for your clients after the wedding you have to make sure that you have a very nice and smooth um, slow motion because this is what makes the it makes it beautiful when it's in slow motion this is what is the wedding is about okay so it's done now I'm gonna go at the beginning of the clip and just play it pretty cool so much better so so much better and this is it friends thanks so much for watching i hope you found this video interesting and useful and you got some value out of it and if you did please give it a thumbs up consider subscribing and i'll catch you guys in the next one happy creation